All right, I see what you did. You um, gave it a single starting point. Well, okay, let's go here. So focus point, logo, and then why do I need a shirt? This feels like it needs to be slightly larger to me than that um, in the same ratio. So if this was 9 point and you kicked it up to 11, so you do the math and you apply, maybe it is, but I don't think so. I, I still think it needs to be bigger. Okay. Um, this, all the white type could be lower, and I would lower the black stroke to right about here. I might um, move this stroke over just a touch to right there. Um, now, I did highlight the longest line here, and we have 101 characters. Technically, we're only supposed to be 72, so you're, you're kind of caught in that dilemma. You're, you're caught in a dilemma of, uh, Do I break the rules a little and go over 75, 72, I don't know, by 25 characters? Or do I make the type bigger because they said not to make it any bigger? So, you know, I'll let you decide that call. Oh, one thing I would do, too, is drop this to a gray. That might be weird. It's going to be the only gray on there, so try it and see. But my reasoning is... If that's a gray, it'll still serve the same purpose as a divider, but um, make the text easier to read. And red, if you change it to red, it would stand out just as much as it's black. So, um, I like your clean bullet points. Thank you. I think that's working well. Um, yeah, this is working here. And, and see, you ran out of room, so you left justified it just fine. No big deal. Um, good use of space. So, yeah, I just drop this down. Drop the red and the black line down. Give yourself a slightly bit more breathing room. Probably the thickness of the black line at this thickest point. Maybe this one just a touch over to there. Um, and then here's the big dilemma. Um, I almost wish you could submit two and say, okay, here's one where why do I need life insurance is a block just like everything else. And here it is as an intro to everything else. So if you can put in two, I, I would do it. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I look at it. I'm not seeing any widows. I'm not seeing, you know, horribly bad breaks or anything. Yeah, so good job. I might be tempted to m drop the the down to before the same, but that's debatable because you know some people call this a bad break because there's a break right here, and there's no line to support the word the, so it just feels like it's gonna snap off and dangle, you know, right there. So some people would say, oh, well, okay, put it right there, but that that's really nitpicky. I mean. Look at all the other stuff you did. Uh, oh, and here's one thing. Let's let's make sure we do this. The gaps between the end of a topic. So let's call this the title and the topic title and the topic statement. And then you have a gap. Then you have a next topic title, topic statement. Then you have a gap. Make sure all those gaps are the same and they should be bigger than the gaps between this gap looks maybe too big because that's supposed to be as big as that one right there so maybe it's just an optical illusion that it, because of all this white space it looks bigger I don't know Yeah, okay, those those are my thoughts, making sure this gap is the same as, uh, well, you want these two to line up, and I think they're, uh, so make sure they're perfectly on the same line, and if they're two lines, you, obviously, this one is going to line up perfectly. You could uh, confirm that with, um, you know, 
with the ruler or, or with more control the baseline grid if you wanted to and they're they're hard to make look identical because the white space over here kind of makes it look bigger and if there's more white space like here then it looks bigger than it really is if there's less it looks smaller but you know go ahead and confirm those these should be bigger gaps between topics than between bullet points and if you need to maybe you make your bullet point like down to six rather than seven if, if you run out of room all right i hope that's not driving you crazy thanks bye